1995, the National Health Service spent an enormous £22.3 million pounds on sleeping tablets and tranquilizers, which is ridiculous. But conventional medicine may not always be the best solution. So with next week being Homeopathic Awareness Week, we thought that we would take this opportunity to examine some of the natural ways of treating insomnia. So will you welcome back to the program leading homeopathic doctor, Jan de Vries. Hi, Jan. How are you? Okay. Yes, and you too. Now listen, uh, just let's talk about Homeopathic Week for a start. Do you welcome a special week like this that highlights everything? It's absolutely wonderful. Homeopathy, of course, has been very, very much in focus. And rightly so, because homeopathy, if it's practiced right and professional, there's no side effects. And there's so much that people can do without drugs that it is a marvelous way uh, for people to treat themselves quite safely. And for example, you know, lots of people would buy Arnica, you know, say at a chemist shop, without thinking to themselves, oh, this is actually homeopathic treatment, because Arnica would prevent bruising, etc. Yes, Arnica is a fantastic flower which grows very well in the Swiss Alps, and when you step on it, it clicks back, so it gives you the message. I fight disease, I fight bruises, I fight trauma. But uh, yes, in homeopathy it's used very, very well, and people have no idea sometimes what it is used for, but it has become so much a very, very well-known thing that it is, uh, it's marvellous to use it at home. And doctors, I find, are increasingly not only training themselves or, or taking extra training above their standard medical training to do homeopathic stuff, but also they're recommending it, aren't they, as, as an option to, like my own doctor, for example, yeah. will always say, try a natural method first. Well, it's integrated very much into system nowadays and it took many many years hundreds of years it's 200 I think 30 years ago that the founder of homeopathy Dr. Samuel Hahnemann visited the oldest medical university in Europe was in Edinburgh and he laid down four principles how he thought that medicine should practice and his time peer professor Merritt said well what is this all about what really is health and Hahnemann said well what is illness illness is disharmony and that's what homeopathy basically is about. Harmonizing in the body what is out of harmony in one of Hahnemann's principles, that the body is not one body, it's three bodies. Physically, mentally, emotionally. And you have to treat all three. The whole person. Unless the whole person. Because mm. actually, as you, as you know yourself, if you're emotionally stressed, that can actually bring out so much in the physical side of your body, can't it? Yes, I see that a lot in, 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 in pe people with cancer. I'm a member in the States in the cancer research work. And cancer, for a fact, is more because of stress than possibly of, of physical attack mm. on the body. So a lot of degenerative disease, arthritis as well, that is caused by stress, by emotions, by unhappy marriages, by jealousy, by work resentment, and just a whole lot. Mm. Right, well, we're going to move to insomnia because it, it brings the question, doesn't it, when you hear those awful figures that's being spent on drugs for insomnia and you think to yourself, why is it in this modern society that so many people suffer from not being able to sleep? Well, I've been very worried about it. It's with train loads fools that you see. I was in one hospital and asked the pharmacist there, as an ex-pharmacist, how much sleeping tablets per year were prescribed in that hospital and it's shocking when I graduated in 1958 that was right in the explosion we came into then for sleeping tablets tranquilizers antibiotica but that has gone worse over the years mm -hmm. and I can well understand in today's society that there are probably more and more s sleepless people than there should be although sleep is so important for Very. fact your lymphatic system works during your sleep and from the mending process. Absolutely. Mm. So sleep is very important. And I usually say if people cannot have seven to eight hours sleep, which I think is often vital, it's very, very... Of course, the one needs more sleep than the other. But it is a very important part of the process. Well, now, lots of things to talk about in terms of more natural treatments, if I can just bring this a little bit further forward. I mean, it, to the extent even of, say, you using lavender just as a very natural thing. Oh, lavender is a very good thing for mm -hmm. people who are sleepless. They put a few drops on a pillow and it relaxes you, so it's Melissa. Mm -hmm. But then there are a lot of homeopathic herbal remedies who will induce a natural sleep. The problem is with sleeping what, what tablets... What are these, for example, would well, help? Well, you have 
for a fact you have the, 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 the chamomile is very good. There are so this is what chamomile flowers that you just take in drop is, form. Is very good. Melissa is very good. But to just good. calm you down before you sleep. Before you go to sleep, mm -hmm. you have for a fact homeopathic remedies like this. You have Val hops, which I prescribe a lot. 25 drops before going to bed, half an hour, makes you very nice and sleepy and very relaxed. Is this the equivalent the of, the, of valerian? There is valerian in it. It's valerian mm -hmm. and hops and a few mm -hmm. other things which I have prescribed a lot. And then there are, of course, the, uh, the, 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 the different uh, trademarks that you can use in, in other things. But are they are safe? Homeopathic, absolutely. So there's, these, there's these nothing habitual tested. about them? No, or? these are all over-the-counter things that mm -hmm. are approved by the MCA, over-the-counter being safe. All right, well, we're going to look at some relaxation techniques that people can just do without taking any, anything, whether it's drugs or whether it's natural things. So, Paul Bloxham, this is your moment. Lay down your knife and come and lay down on the floor here. <laughs> yes, Paul Bloxham. Fabulous. <laughs> so, Jan, there is nothing... You're used to lying down the job, aren't you? So oh, that's fine. Just it would have been lovely. <laughs> just to lie on the floor and relax. Well, the thing is that, you know, there's nothing more infuriating than lying in bed, tossing, turning, trying to Absolutely. get to sleep. So this is something that you can do. What's it called? This is actually the Hara method, which I studied in, in, in China. When I worked in China, I found this method, and I find it absolutely fantastic because it's common sense. Right. A baby usually relaxed is if it's relaxed to sleep. You look at it, it doesn't breathe here or there, it breathes here. Now, that is the middle point of the whole human body. That's where the vegetative nervous system lives. So people get very keyed up and tied up and very nervous. If you put your left hand under your navel, left okay. hand first under the navel. You can't find navel. his navel. <laughs> right <laughs> hand over, right hand over. Okay. You have already formed a magnetic ring. Why You're should it be the left relaxed. hand first? Because you, you're talking acupuncture terms, left first, right over, okay. to get the right balance, the right harmony. Now, you already relax yourself, you close your eyes, let everything go, you talk to yourself, I want to relax. Not counting sheep, just tell <laughs> yourself, be positive, tell yourself, I do want to relax, I want to have a sleep, relax, let it come naturally. And then you start breathing into your nose, in your tummy, where a baby breathes, and out to your mouth. Very interesting that the child, about a, a, above the four years old, starts breathing there and there and there. It all depends on personality. If you have a very relaxed child, they breathe there. Really through if the you have stomach. a very relaxed so person, So you're there. supposed to let the stomach go up, then breathe so through the you stomach. you breathe in, fill it up like a football. Through the and nose. Out to your mouth. Absolutely. You relax completely. You complete your, and in a little while you get that fantastic feeling of well-being. Mm. It's an old, old Eastern method, which is very safe. Shall we give him a pillow with a few drops of lavender yeah. on it? If you yeah. put a well, pillow under your head, yeah. oh, beautiful. And we Where's get, lavender and we get a little of lavender. The lavender. Oh, you're getting really comfortable. Oh. You're there, really oh, getting yeah. comfortable there, boy. It's working. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh. Does that feel nice? <laughs> it's almost to sleep. Do, do your breathing thing even now. Though, <laughs> even though he has a bit of hay fever, I see. Is that right? Mm. You have hay yeah. fever? I certainly have. Yeah, I can Tight see chest. you're congested. So relax nicely. In and out. And in and out. Let it come like a baby. And think that you're in a lovely, lovely garden. Visualization is very good, Gloria. Visualize yourself. Place. Yes, I'm walking on the beach and I smell this lovely. I get relaxed. I'm in a garden and I see this lovely road. I want to relax. Well, Jan, it's what it's people need so much, mm. and if at all people who have headaches or people have problems, cranial osteopathy can be done by everyone themselves. People with headaches and have a heavy head after a day's hard work, just put your Thumbs here behind the skull, find the sore spot. Suddenly you say, oh, God, this is sore. And you start going round and round and round. And so you, you get relax. rid of the headache and you relax Your headache is time. away, you relax. Or if you put your left hand on your forehead and your right hand over on the occiput, tell yourself to relax. I work 90 hours a week, and every day I was born at 4 o'clock. time that you were born is the most critical time of the day. Well, so you're lucky when you're born during well, Jan, the night. Well, you're like going to have to come back and teach us some more, because I have to leave it at that point. Fantastic to Thank relax. you so much. Look at him. He's there like a baby no there. no need for sleeping tablets. You can do it all yourself. 
Polish. Will you thank Jan de Vries for me very much? Thank you. Lovely Jan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Have a seat. Thank you. We're going to take a short break, but don't you dare doze off at home because one here is bad oh. enough. Come on, waking up. <laughs> oh, that was... when, we, when we come back, we're going to be talking to singer-songwriter Jared Kenny, which is always a rare treat. And there'll be a rare treat in the kitchen if I ever get them off the floor. When Paul blocks them, cook some steak with a difference, so don't go away. <laughs> <laughs> Do your breathing. Come on, breathe.